Curving the ball is truly an art and attention to technique is essential with this skill. We will focus on your preparation with your body position and your plant foot, as well as how to consistently impact the ball to achieve a controlled curve. Curving the ball, Mia, the ability to get around the opposition. Yeah, curving the ball allows us to get around obstacles, whether that's the goalkeeper or defender or back line. Um, and it also allows us to, to bend balls into players' runs, whether that's serving the ball from the end line or playing a player in over the top, being able to bend it around into their path of, that they're running into makes it a lot easier to receive. Kick it. Any attacking player who has the ability to curve the ball increases their scoring opportunities. From this angle, we see the upright position of the body. And now, we get a great view of how close the standing leg is, the in-to-out swing of the striking leg, and the toe-up position. Mia works on curving the ball with both feet. This gives her a distinct advantage over any team she plays against. You too should become capable of curving the ball with both feet. Overcoming obstacles such as defenders and goalkeepers will dramatically improve your team's chances of success. Kick it. In the beat the goalie drill, players line up 20 yards away from an 8 by 15 target box. A goalie stands in the middle between two cones, forcing the passers to curve the ball around them. The goal is to curve the ball around the goalie and have it land inside the target box where it is caught by a teammate. The successful player exchanges places. Coach keeps track of time or successful attempts. Okay, so now we're looking to try and bend it around an obstacle, set to a target. We've made it a really generous target. We're going to bring that in as we develop it, right, and see if you can put a curvature on the ball by hitting a glancing blow with your toe up. Okay, let's go. Let's go through the technique. Excellent. Maybe a little softer. Put a little velvet on that. That's great technique. Good try. You're in the middle there, Jordan. All fun and games. Good technique. That's OK. Yep. So we've got to hit the side of the ball with our toe up. Hit the side of the ball with your toe up. Excellent, excellent, and relax. Well, when we're trying to curve the ball, a couple things that are different. We want to have our plant foot close to the ball. Our body's going to be a bit more upright. We're not going to hit the center of the ball. We're going to hit the outside with the front part of our foot. And when we follow through, make sure we're upright, is we want our toe to come up. So with that, by being closed in, we're not really using our hips as much, we're just using more of a leg swing. So you've got to put some curvature on this ball to bring it back into the box. Okay, once you're successful at it, jump in and see how many times your team can run through and get around the opposition. You ready? Okay, and play. Good try, you're in the middle. Okay, give me that good technique. Almost. Point your toe at that target. Excellent. No, it didn't reach though. Great technique. There's a good one. He bent that one around. That's nice. Really exaggerate the technique. Good. That was close. That was close. Goalie. It's there. You can just get a little bit further forward in it. Excellent. That's really good there. Good improvement. Excellent, except it went over the top. That's better. And time. Kick it. Curving the ball is a tricky skill, so make sure you follow these tips. Make certain that your body is upright as you prepare to strike the ball. The standing or plant leg needs to land close to the ball, and you must swing your striking leg inside out with your toe pointing up. In the beat the goalie drill, you need to attack the ball with authority. 
Your focus here is on technique, not on speed.